The salad crops, such as lettuce and spinach and radishes, all like cool temperatures, but once we have a good hard frost, a lot of us gardeners are through growing them out in the garden. But you can protect them through the winter time using a cold frame. Now I just finished planting some black seeded Simpson leaf lettuce. Next to it, I'm going to put in some French breakfast radishes. Now in planting a cold frame, you don't want to plant the whole thing all at one time, especially if you're growing salad crops because you'll be harvesting out of there and you'll need space for succession planting. And so I'm just doing the back half of it. Now this site where we're planting used to be in our straw flowers or dried flowers through the summertime. It's right next to where our herbs are planted. And we pulled all that out last week, worked in some good compost, so we have a very nice fine seed bed here for planting. Now I've planted the radishes in between the two lettuces because they'll be ready in half the time, about 25 days, and we'll be pulling radishes out of here. Once they're gone, I'll have room for my lettuce and for some spinach to fill in. This is a very, very small planting. Of course, you'd want one quite a bit larger if you had more than one or two people in your household, but it will give you a little bit of fresh salad crop through the winter time. One last planting I want to put in is some prize head lettuce. Now prize head is a bronze leaf or red leaf lettuce and it'll give us some nice color in the garden. And remember as you as this comes up and you come back and thin it in a week or two, you can certainly eat those thinnings, although it wouldn't give you very much to eat, but it'd be a little bit to put in with your salads. Just going to barely cover those and pat them down. Now in cold frames, there are several materials that you can use. One that a lot of gardeners have used in the past are just old window frames. And they might put four bales of straw together, which is sometimes hard to find this time of year, and then just set a window frame over on top of it. You can also build a frame out of wood and frame over the top with some sheet plastic that's stapled around some wood framing. Or you can use a cold frame like we have right here. My husband John's going to help me to move this over the top. It's a little uneasy for one person to move by themselves. There we go. But one nice thing about it is that it's, it's plexiglass that's corrugated, so it's nice and strong, and it's clear all the way around. So I'm going to get the benefit of as much light as possible. It's like a mini greenhouse. But one thing that tells me, though, is that with our sunny Oklahoma weather in fall and winter, it's going to get very, very hot in here. So for now, after I water this in, I'm going to leave this lid off. But later on, as we start to get into some cooler nights, I have this hinged lid that I can put on here, and I'll probably prop it up during the daytime so that the air, so that the heat can get out. But as we get into the dead of winter, say late December and January, I'll leave it closed all day long. And I should have a fresh salad crop on into winter, maybe even into the time where it's ready to plant it out in my garden on into next spring. But remember, if you're planting salad crops in a cold frame such as this, leave yourself plenty of space, allow for a succession planting, and one last tip, make sure you don't let it get too hot in there or too dry, because the rain is not able to fall in on it. Last of all, check for aphids. Aphids love to hide out in leafy crops in cold frames through the winter time, so keep a watch on that. And if they do get a little out of control, you might want to spray with some insecticidal soap to control them. Well, enjoy your cold frame. 